You know, guys, I feel like all this month so far, I've been forgetting something. Oh my gosh, I still haven't opened these ornaments yet. Well, that'll be coming soon, but it's gonna have to come really soon as we are getting closer and closer to Christmas. We have less than 10 days now, and that's absolutely crazy. Anyway, guys, welcome back to 25 Days of Suggestions 2023. Today, for day 16, we're going to be taking a look at Chuck Armstrong, requested by Eduardo Aguero. Thank you so much for your suggestion, as always. Chuck Armstrong is our third Cars 1 Piston Cup racer uh, that we've reviewed this year. Kind of kind of crazy. The random name picker has, has picked some interesting ones this year. I, I feel like I don't usually review this many Cars 1 racers, but it is very cool to do. These guys are always fun to look back on, and they always tend to get a lot of views, but you didn't hear that from me. Anyway, before we take a look at Chuck, who is easily one of the most iconic racers in the Cars 1 Piston Cup, and one of the only ones to have a speaking line, of course, we have to open up day 16 on the advent calendar. Hey, it's tires! Usually, I, I wouldn't really care much about tires, but... As with all of the mini racer accessories for this year, they are a different mold than before. A mold that is smaller and made to be in scale with the mini racers instead of the 155 scale line. I don't know how in scale they are. Yeah, they're still going to be a bit too big, but uh, still, closer to the scale of minis if said minis were to wear big tires. These could be like snow tires for them. Very nice, and it seems we'll be seeing those again pretty soon. I wonder... I wonder how soon. Maybe, maybe that's behind door 17. Actually, hmm. It's going to be a cone again tomorrow, isn't it? I, I can tell from the shape, guys. I, I can tell. <laughs> we'll see how correct that is. Anyway, Chuck Armstrong here. Easily one of the most iconic piston cup racers. You know him. You love him. The coach shouldn't take him out because he could still race. Absolute legend on the piston cup circuit. And the car whose variant holds the prestige honor of being the most expensive, regularly released Cars diecast single of all time. Chuck Armstrong is a very notable character in the eyes of the Cars community. I got mine when he had his first Thailand re-release, uh, maybe it was 2019. Unfortunately, they didn't color in his mouth that year. I thought it was just an error on mine, but no, it's, it's on all of them. He does not have <laughs> his mouth, is not colored in, it's all blue. He, 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 okay. When they were spray painting Chuck for his next race after the crash, you know, they had to repaint him and all, um, that he accidentally kept his mouth open when they were painting him. That's my deep lore reason. Uh, anyway, of course, we got the Mood Springs logo there on the hood, and I never really realized the M is supposed to look like a spring, isn't it? I, I, I genuinely never realized that. I noticed that on, on Dud Throttleman, but never, never on Chuck. Guys. That looks nothing like a spring. <laughs> Why did it take me this long to realize that? Yeah, so the M is a spring. The M in Mood Springs is a spring. My life will never be the same now that I know that. Dang. Of course, the threes on the side are supposed to look like springs. That, that I could tell. Did you know the M was, uh, was supposed to look like a spring? Everyone's going to say yes, and I'm going to feel like an idiot. <laughs> so I shouldn't have asked. Um, All your typical contingency sponsors there on the side. We'll read them, because that's what we do. Nitro Raid, Piston Cup, Revolting, Mood Springs, RPM, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, and Gasprin. Uh, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Turkey Pistons, Leakless, uh, Retread, and Clutch Aid there. Very, very nice shade of blue. Really love the shade of blue they use for Chuck here. Mood Springs logo back there. Also, we can see his gas cap. Mood Springs on the back and on the back. Unfortunately, no slogan for the company. A lot of Cars and Racers have a slogan there. Chuck does not. There's a look at the other side, and finally, there is a look at the base. One of my personal favorite Piston Cup racers. I just love the design and the color scheme. I've said several times I like Piston Cup racers with unique colors, and there aren't many Piston Cup cars, especially not from the first movie, that, there are, that are this really nice dark shade of blue. When you get to Cars 3, especially the next gens, every other car is blue. But in the first movie, Chuck definitely stands out, and because of his role in the movie and in merchandise, he certainly stands out to a lot of fans and collectors. He also stands out to me a lot because, for whatever reason, he was a main character in Aqua Strike's car series. Aqua Strike used to be, like, like my favorite Cars channel back in the day. Absolutely love his content, and I, I miss his content so much. And uh, in his car series, Mood Springs, who he nicknamed Mood, um, instead of using his, you know, his name Chuck Armstrong, uh, he was one of the main characters. 
And, you know, that was just, that was really fun. That was really fun. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys again next time for day 17. Bye now. Thank you.